Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome to a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video we are going to be discussing a little bit more of the actual topic of Clutch Powers being one of the worst characters in this show. Now of course before we even get any more into this video let me just say that this video is not trying to I guess uh, uh, go against anybody's own opinions. If you have an opinion on Clutch Powers that's positive then good on you. I'm glad that you can enjoy a character that I can't. However with my own experiences with the character of Clutch Powers let me just say that I personally don't find him to be a compelling character, especially within season 14. Now there will be some minor spoilers up ahead for season 14 as well, so if you haven't seen it just yet, feel free to click off the video and go watch a different one. But for now, let's go ahead and discuss why I think Clutch Powers has slowly been becoming one of Ninjago's worst characters. So Clutch Powers was first physically seen in Ninjago season 11. There were a couple of mentions to him earlier than that, but season 11 is when we first saw him, and he came off as kind of like an explorer that was trying to pretend to be an explorer if that makes sense. Instead, it was more like, oh, he's just a joke character, and that's it. In season 14, we actually get to see a little bit more of what his arrogant side is all about, and that's something that I do kind of enjoy, but at the same time, it doesn't make him a likable character. In the first couple of episodes of season 14, we can see that Clutch Powers is very, very controlling over a few of his, uh, what do you even call it, servants? Uh, partners, if you will? They're basically servants to Clutch Powers. He's basically dragging them along and just kind of forcing them to do his bidding, which is of course in character for Clutch Powers, but it doesn't make him a good character, and I think that's the point. With Clutch Powers being a bad character, we can definitely tell that he's going to be up to something else in Season 14. We will get more into that in future videos, but the point still stands. Clutch Powers is not supposed to be a likable character. He's supposed to be kind of like not so much a villain as much as just an unlikable character that exists within Ninjago. A character that you recognize isn't a good guy, but is also not a bad guy. I consider Clutch Powers to be along the same lines of a Ronin type character and you're not supposed to like him. You're not supposed to enjoy Clutch Powers. You're supposed to be like, oh, that guy. That guy's up to some shady business. But at the same time, there's a way to write that character. This version of Clutch Powers to me just comes off as just being overly annoying and overly bossy and just overly arrogant for no reason at all. And to me, that doesn't make a good character. I would love to see something a little more along the lines of a character such as Ronin. Ronin's a good example. We've mentioned him earlier in the video, but Ronin is a good example of a character that's written well and he also keeps that that same purpose. He maintains the purpose and role of the unlikable side character that sometimes joins forces with the ninja, sometimes goes against them. Clutch Powers just kind of feels like a cheap knockoff, if you will, of Ronin. I feel like they had a very good idea for Clutch Powers. They wanted to make him like somewhat of a fake explorer, and they kind of did that with season 11, but starting with season 14, I could tell that maybe there's something off about him. Now that does kind of play into other theories later on, I suppose, that we can talk about, but for the purpose of this video, Clutch Powers is not a very well-written character character within the context of season 14. To me, he just comes off as a lesser Ronin style character. And that's essentially all I have to say in this video. Let me know down below in the comments though what you think about this. I'm actually quite curious to see what you guys think about Clutch Powers. Do you think he's a good character or not? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, once again, feel free to comment. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say in terms of Clutch Powers being one of the worst characters in modern Ninjago. Leave your thoughts down below and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff and check out the links down below in the description from other forms of social media as always big shout out goes out to my patreon supporters including once again the marvelous jan thank you guys so much for watching this video once again my name is tanner fishies and with that i bid you farewell